Hi, it's Alex Chavaqueta Ramirez here, and this time I want to take some moments to share with you about the Native American flutes. Uh, the flute style that I'm going to demonstrate here is actually for strictly to California's uh, style, and what makes a difference from other Plains Indians or other flutes you'll see around the country is other ones will have a little cutout here for the wind to blow over and we'll have a little bird that can move back and forth to adjust the sound so and also in the right underneath it there'll be a plug so actually the inside of the flute is actually two chambers so the small chamber here the long chamber here with a, a blowhole for the air to pass over to create the sound in the California and this is only in California all California flutes are hollow straight through and it's strictly to California, you go the, to the mountains, the valleys, or along the coast, it's always the same, but it's amazing, it's just to California. I do not play the flute. I do play other instruments, so I am learning and I'm gonna practice. So I decided to make one and I started to practice. And I'm not gonna be able to get a sound out of this. However, I did use a PVC pipe uh, just to demonstrate the concept. PVC pipe is hollow, See if I can get a sound. It takes a lot of practice. Well, it does work. So, as far as materials, traditionally we can use elderberry. Uh, if you don't have access to elderberry, we don't want to use the PVC. However, bamboo makes a great alternative. So use the bamboo. You want to let it dry if you get some fresh green elderberry. Let it dry. Just put it outside. Let it dry for a bit. So as it shrinks, it will crack. So we want it to be um, a bit dried. Inside it, there's a pith. And this pith is really spongy material. And all you're going to do is get a screwdriver and go inside and work it back and forth. And this pith will just come out in crumbs. And it's really soft. It's like a sponge. Once you get it all emptied out, then you can... Uh, cut down the length of the flute. This one here is actually uh, in process but I recommend cut between your knots and you'll get a flute in varying sizes but that gives you a nice straight piece wherever these knots are that's usually where a branch is breaking off and that is usually where the bends in the flutes will start to occur. This one's not as obvious but the bends will start to occur and but you want it straight as possible it makes it easier to make the sound the number of holes there's no set number of holes traditionally um, I did four because I can mark two fingers here and two fingers here with my thumbs on the opposite side and um, I can't play it so it's really not too important how many holes I have if you really want to get deep into this there are books that can show you the different lengths you'll need to get certain pitches uh, certain keys how many holes you want to get certain um, scales but I'm not there and most majority of our classes aren't either so this will work fine once you get it all carved out you get your holes drilled and your flute's ready to play you can leave the bark on there or you can strip it off either way it's really up to the creator at that point then comes the practice and it's hard to be honest so I practice about an hour a day and I still can't get a sound, but I've only been doing it for a month. Well, still no luck. But anyways, um, try it, have fun. If you like this video, say ho!